What's up YouTube? Welcome to another video, Rocketman Luke here, and today I'm talking about the five things I want from Destiny 2. Now for me, Destiny is probably the game of this generation. As far as the amount of hours I've put into the game, I've not played any other game on PlayStation 4 or Xbox One as much as what I have Destiny. Alright, so what do we know about Destiny 2? Other than the recent update when Bungie said that the majority of the studio are currently working on Destiny 2, we don't really know a lot else. There's rumours of a PC version, 2017 release date is being touted, and you'd think they're probably going to be aiming for that, because we've now reached the end of the, the Destiny 1 roadmap with the recent Rise of Iron DLC. They've confirmed that's going to be the last one, and the next content we get from Bungie will be Destiny 2. So what do I want? Starting in no particular order, the first thing I want from Destiny 2 is a better single player experience. Destiny 1 promised so much on that front and delivered so little. There was very little storytelling, there was no real kind of character building, and it never felt that the story matched the vast size of the universe. Now there was some good stuff hidden in the lore, but you had to go out of your way to find it, you had to go and read it, and when you're playing a video game, we need to put on a plate for us if we're going to care about it. Alright, number two, I want some new enemies. When Taken King came out, and we had Hive that were basically just flashing in and out of the screen, and given the new name of Taken, I was so disappointed. I thought we were going to get a whole new race of enemies, with a new background, new bosses, new animations and everything, but it just didn't deliver. And the same with Rise of Iron, it's just fallen with some red stuff over them. Destiny 2 for me has got to have new enemies, whole new animations, different races with different subclasses, different bosses, and a whole new story behind them. That's a must. Number three, Destiny 1, they kind of teased that there'd be space exploration. They teased that you'd have this spacecraft, and you can go around the galaxy, find the new planets, almost like No Man's Sky, but nothing like No Man's Sky. And when the game came out, it was just a glorified loading screen. I was so pissed at Destiny for that, and I know a lot of people who reviewed the game were, were, said exactly the same stuff. We were led down the garden path, but maybe we would be able to explore space, we'll be able to find our own planets, link up with other guardians, and go for all this cool stuff organically. But that wasn't the case. The spaceship, the space travel, was just a loading screen. For me, Destiny 2 could put this right. Put some space exploration in there. Maybe some interstellar dogfights would be awesome as well. Number four. New Guardian types and new subclasses. Currently, we have three elemental burns with Void, Solar, and Arc. Throw a few more of them in. Give me some new subclasses. Just to add to the customization. Just to add to... When you build your own Guardian, there's even more variety. You're not going to keep bumping into the same stuff in PvP, the same enemies, using the same supers over and over again. Stick more subclasses in there, give us more options, because MMOs and games like Destiny are all about customization. So for me, Destiny 2 has to have this. Finally, number five is new weapons and customization. As I said about the subclasses, MMOs are all about customization. I want my Guardian to look different to every other Guardian in the galaxy. I don't want to be bumping into other players that have got exactly the same setup as me, using the same guns, the same perks on the same subclasses. No, that's not how it should be. I want different colors, I want different subclasses, different choices, loads more armor, and new weapons. Destiny 1, when they had Galahorn and Icebreaker, they nailed it. They had guns that were famous within the game, and People who didn't even really play the game knew what Galahorn was. They took that out of the game because it was deemed as overpowerful, and now they've brought it back in with, uh, with the Rise of Iron expansion, basically admitting that they'd made a mistake. When the whole gameplay loop is based around the loot that you get within the game, Bungie needs to make sure that the guns that are dropping, the loot that you're actually grinding for, is worth the grind, it's worth the time you put in. For me, ultimately, this is what happened with The Division. This might be a whole other video, but Nothing in that game was really worth grinding for. Everything was quite decent, everything looked pretty much the same, and there was nothing with any real character. So Destiny 2, they need to make sure that there's a couple of guns in there, even if there's just two or three, that are really worth grinding for. That kind of end game loot that's going to keep you coming back and grinding the same strikes and the same raids over and over again in search of Galahorn's maybe bigger brother with... 500 wolf pack rounds and a golden barrel with green handles you get the point so there we have it that's my five things that i want them to put into destiny 2 as someone who's put in over a thousand hours on destiny 1 
I really hope they get this right because it's a game that I'm invested in. I love the franchise. They've built a real solid foundation for another another 10 years of video games, as they promised um, a couple of years ago when they released this game. And in all fairness to Bungie, if you compare the game to the condition it is now as to when it came out, you can see that they've listened to the community. The Taken King storytelling was way better than the original game was. They, they have continued to support the game. They've tweaked the way the matchmaker has done within the Crucible, which is something everyone was keen to do. They get rid of weapons that they see overpowered in PvP, which again, is good. It's good that they listen to the feedback. Maybe they'll watch this video and give me everything I want. I mean, probably not, but we can hope, right? So that's the five things I want to see in Destiny 2. If I've missed anything, if you guys want to add anything, feel free to put a comment in the comment section below. If not, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Contact the Vanguard. Let them know the Archon Priest is dead. One more fallen Archon gone to dust. <laughs>